Hi everyone, I'm Erin with the Hypothesis Customer Success Team. And today I wanted to talk about how to add a hypothesis enabled reading and assign it to small groups in a Blackboard Ultra Learn or Learn Ultra course. Before we kind of hop into the logistics of how to do that, let's do a quick uh, just review. Hypothesis is a social annotation tool. It allows you and your students to annotate a text together and to really come together and share that text. And I think that's important to remember as we talk about using Hypothesis in small groups. Today we are going to walk through how you would add that Hypothesis enabled reading and assign it to small groups in your course. Before we do that, I want you to think about why you might want to assign a hypothesis enabled reading to small groups. Sometimes you might want groups of four to read the article or the text together and to come together as a small group and only see each other's responses. It might be that you want to split the class in half and have half of the class complete one task within that group and the other half completes another task within their group. You might even want one student to annotate directly to you, the instructor. So thinking about that, let's kind of hop in to how you do this. So if I'm in my Blackboard Learn Ultra course, before I can create my hypothesis enabled reading and assign it to small groups, I have to make sure that my group set is created. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and move over to the left side menu bar and navigate to the users and groups option. Now your Blackboard Learn Ultra page may look slightly different, uh, but know that you wanna to navigate to wherever the groups live. You're gonna go ahead and choose groups. And then up at the top, you're gonna to choose create. Now this is the key piece here. You don't wanna create a single group. You wanna create a group set. That's what's really important. You must create a group set. You can create this group set however you like. Is it self-enroll? Is it manual enroll? Is it random enroll? Uh, but it has to be a group set. In this case, I'm gonna choose random enroll because honestly, I don't remember who's in my course. I'm gonna name my group set hypothesis read groups. There we go. You can of course give your group set a description and do any of these um, options down here that you choose. I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. Oops. I need to decide how many students are in each group. So let me get to there. We're gonna put two students in each group for this exercise. So I'm gonna hit submit. And you'll see now my group set has been created. Now that I have this group set, I can go ahead and assign my hypothesis enabled reading to small groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and move to the content tab or section on my left side menu. I'm going to choose build content and go down the list and choose hypothesis. I'm going to be very meta here and name this assignment annotation, put detailed instructions here. I'm going to decide to enable evaluation, I'm going to give this 10 points and scroll down and hit submit. We're not yet done. We now need to launch the assignment and make sure we assign it to the groups. So I'm going to launch it. And now I'm going to choose where I'm going to get the reading. In this case, I'm going to choose a PDF from Blackboard. I have previously stored a file in my Blackboard course content area. Choose my content or my reading. Go ahead and hit select. Now you'll notice the next screen automatically says, or should say, choose if this is a group assignment or not. There's this check, spot, check box here. So if indeed I want to assign this to small groups, I'm going to say, yes, this is a group assignment. And I can select whichever group set I've already created. So I'm gonna choose hypothesis reading groups and then hit continue. You'll notice it'll launch immediately with the reading and the hypothesis annotation bar on the right side. Now, as the instructor, I'll be able to go between my different groups by selecting this option at the top of the annotation bar. 
because there are not enough people in this class, honestly, because this is our test class, I only have one group. I don't have more than two students in this whole class. But if I had, let's say 20 students and I, not, I had made groups of four, I could choose from the correct group to see that those students work up here in the menu bar at the top of the annotation bar. That's how you would assign a hypothesis enabled reading to small groups within your course. Uh, one thing to keep in note or keep in mind is that students will not see annotations from other students who are not in their group. They will only see annotations from students that are in their small group within that group set. If you have questions, make sure to reach out to the Hypothesis Customer Success Team. We are always happy to help.